Hello, hello. If you like the Underwater Kingdom, today's episode is for you. So grab your fins and jump in the water with us. Oh, I take a chance, will you let me ride? I could be the best thing in your life. Maybe let's take a drive, take a drive. In last week's episode, we finally left Grey Keppel Island in direction of the reef, more specifically Heron Island, where we grabbed the marine boy. Look at what's in the dinghy behind me. We're going for a dive. Can't wait, so excited. Let's hope we see some cool stuff because yeah, we're slightly disappointed from the snorkel yesterday. And yeah, it's quite cloudy as well today. So let's hope we keep the sun for the whole time. It's cloudy, but it's so freaking hot. Like I'm struggling to put on my wetsuit. Might jump in the water before I put on the wetsuit. Let's, uh, let's go and uh, try to see some cool stuff. What a nice dive. It was lovely. We didn't see any big stuff apart from a couple of turtles, stingray, that's all. But the corals and all the small fish are just beautiful. It was really nice. It was a nice dive. Now, just need to rest a little bit. A little bit of wind today, but, but not enough to make it uncomfortable. So yeah, it was nice. And I can see a few turtles there. Lunch is oh. ready. Nice. I can see turtles popping their head. They're like, hey. You okay? Yeah? All right, see ya. While Jan is having a conversation with the turtles, let me tell you more about this wreck. Once a flat iron gunboat named HMS Protector. She was commissioned and purchased by the South Australian government in 1884 to defend the coastline for the modest sum of £65,000. She served in a Boxer Rebellion and World War I. She was decommissioned in 1924 and sold for £677.10. shillings. She was dismantled and served as a wool lighter for several years. In July 1943, Protector was requisitioned for war service by the US Army. She was heading to New Guinea from Gladstone when she was damaged in a collision with a tugboat and abandoned. The Hulk was purchased in 1944 for £10 and installed as a breakboat of the following year at Heron Island. It clearly marks the entrance to the channel to the small harbour and is one of the first things visitors see when they arrive at the island.
quite a few inhabitants in this wreck. Time for a bit of context, shall we? We grabbed the mooring boy here, and our first snorkeling session in last week's episode was along the reef on the north side. If you missed it, link is in the description below, and make sure to subscribe. Our dive was also on the north side along this part of the reef. We stopped at the wreck, which is located here, marking the entrance of the channel, and now we are on our way to another spot for snorkeling here. Time for a new dive? It is. It's, uh, could use more sun, but apart from that, all good. And uh, I promised you three mentors today, so um, they're going to be here. You better uh, deliver. If not, um, I'm going to be uh, in trouble. Yep. Mm. All right, let's jump in the water. Yeah. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, well, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing with the mountains. Yeah, well, your bones are the earth and they sing with the mountains. Yeah, your bones are the earth. In the sing with the mountains Where your bones are the earth And they sing with the mountains <laughs> Why would you look outside yourself When you have all of the world in the Why would you look outside yourself When you have all of the world yeah, your inside Your mind is a space that creates your horizon oh, your mind is a space that creates the horizon yeah, your mind is a space that creates your horizon oh, your mind is a space that creates the horizon say why would you look outside yourself when you Those mentors you promised. I didn't promise anything. I promised you three mentors today, so um, they're gonna be here. You better uh, deliver. If not, um, I'm gonna be uh, in trouble. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. You told me, come on, let's get in the water. We're gonna see at least three mentors. We didn't go to the right spot. I told yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Excuses, I told you. excuses. I said we needed to go one boy further. Yeah, yeah. No mentors, but uh, it was still a good snorkel, at least the very beginning. The start was absolutely amazing. The core was beautiful, lots of fish. Did you see that fish that was getting cleaned by a little yeah, fish? Yeah, yeah, it, it looked like he was enjoying it so much. It was like... Oh, <laughs> that was just so fun. They were going into his gills and everything. It was so fun. <laughs> Rest of the day. So we're probably going to move to another reef. We're thinking about going to Masthead. Do you want to stay here? It was a good anchorage. Good night. 
<laughs> well, yeah, he can only be in Heron Island if the conditions are really good. And let's just say they're not really good anymore. So we need to make a move. It's fine because there's a lot of current. So when the current is on the same direction as the wind, it's fine. But when they are opposite, then the boat turns around the mooring boy and the mooring boy goes under the boat and he scratches it and it bumps into the hills. Oh my God. All of that obviously in the middle of the night. So oh yeah. Not fun. It's smooth spot and uh, it cannot be worse than that. So it's nope. gonna be better. I think after that, we won't stay on the reef much longer because the, the wind is picking up over the weekend. So we'll go back on the coast after that. But first, let's hit the road and go to Mass Head. Spoiler alert, it simply wasn't the best sail and we might have already overstayed a welcome on the reef. Don't miss next week's episode to see that and in the meantime, drop us a like and make sure to subscribe. Bye!